Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to another speed edit. It's been a few weeks, several weeks. I honestly don't remember at this point, but we're back. Phase Runner is to not blame, uh, to thank, because his space edit really inspired me to go to space with this edit. And I hope I created something even half as cool as his edit. So yeah, we're jumping right in, creating some planets using a technique I learned from Howard Pinsky years ago. I briefly went over it in my journey of Photoshop video, if you saw that. If not, I really don't blame you. But it's an awesome technique. You just use a texture photo, or in this case, a photo of some clouds, which basically just looks like a texture map and create a elliptical marquee and spherize the selection and throw it on a new layer and it, with the proper lighting and shading at least, it looks like a legit planet. So yeah, that's what I'm, I'm doing for that. I, I really just wanted to make my own planets because I think it, it makes it more unique and I probably don't have access to good looking planets on the internet because I still don't pay for stock photos. Yeah, I, I'll admit it. I'll admit it. I use free stock photos. What are you going to do? Anyway, moving on. I really had no idea what I was going to do for this edit at the start. And that's, if you've watched any of my other videos, typically how it goes, I just kind of have an idea of what I want to do, or a theme, but don't really have an idea of what specifically I'm going to do. So it, as always, comes together throughout the video when I'm figuring out and just seeing things come together in my head. And this sun asset photo magical thing just really did pretty much all the heavy lifting for me because it's such a cool unique photo or 3d I, it's got to be a photo but like I don't know where I can I want to live not live there but we're, we're getting off track anyway this little pod here I found on pexels.com as well free stock photo website and it's just a cool looking escape pod, space pod type thing. And it's, I think in China somewhere, it's kind of like a, like an aerial tour or something. I couldn't tell you exactly, but it was perfect for what I needed and really became the uh, subject of the piece. And yeah, just so cool. I want to go there wherever it is. So this is where I'm going to put our subject which is me because I figured I probably wasn't going to find a perfect photo of somebody standing in the way I needed so I figured it out on my own and took a photo at the correct perspective and you can see I put a little white floor in there to give me an idea of how the floor needed to be angled in my photograph to make sure the perspectives were matching and it really it went way better than I was anticipating to be honest and then just adding a little bit of window pane reflections smudges whatever you you want to refer to them as just to kind of give it a, a feeling of that I'm inside rather than just kind of standing there on top of it and just playing around with everything I took a reflection photo as well and that was kind of tricky trying to figure that out I ended up adding it back in at the very end but I abandoned it here shortly because it just wasn't working how I wanted it. And then, obviously, the key to pretty much any piece is getting accurate lighting and shadowing. And this one was particularly fun and challenging just because, one, I've never done a really in-depth space edit, and two, the lighting coming from that sun orb thing awesome looking mystical fantastic awesome thing uh 
is such a unique blend of like oranges, oranges and yellows and purpley indigos. So getting the correct lighting on that was was very, again, challenging but cool. And I think I landed on something that looks somewhat realistic, or if not realistic, artistic. And <laughs> I guess that counts for something. And as you can see, I I go back in here and paint in some so much more specific highlights and shadows on me because I just kind of was lazy the first time around and it, it didn't look good because I was lazy about it. So I went back in, was a lot more specific with it and very happy with how it turned out. And that's basically where we're at for uh, a good portion of this video now. And I will leave you guys to maybe like two minutes of peace before I come back and annoy you with the final edit. So here we are at the very end, or not the very end, but wrapping up, and I found this cool texture on Pexels again as well, and thought it would look cool as kind of like a, the window texture. So I added that back in. As you can see, the image has come a decently long way from where it was when I last spoke to you. And we're just wrapping up here, and bam, there it is. Really thrilled with how this turned out. Um, yeah, it was just so fun to try a space edit and succeed, at least in my book. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, your support and comments and everything means a lot to me, and I really appreciate it. So like, subscribe if you feel like it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.